Hey guys, how's it going? So I found this article just the other day, um, and I wanted to share it with all you guys. It's super recent. When did it happen here? Yeah, January 7th. And basically, um, I just wanted to dispel the myth that guys are the only ones that domestically abuse women. This is what, you know, we're told by so many feminists, what we're told by the media, um, and this is what, like, the average guy believes, right? They never think that they'll ever be in a relationship where the woman beats them. Um, but here's a perfect example, and this is taken to an extreme. Edmonton woman who assaulted husband throughout marriage gets 15 years in prison for beating him to death. Um, let's see here. A 55-year-old Edmonton woman has been sentenced to 15 years in prison for brutally beating to death her husband of 27 years. Um, according to an agreed statement of facts, Hwang beat her husband for hours with objects including a shower curtain rod, bloody hell, a 2x4 piece of wood, and a broom handle. She called 911 when her husband fell unconscious, but he later died in hospital of blunt force trauma. Um, yeah, I'm sorry to the whole family, she said. Yeah, that's a lie. Um, heavy kind of pain to bear. Um, I don't think that she feels any remorse, so I don't buy that statement at all. Um, but look here, like, there's so many people, um, that, uh, that testified at the hearing saying, uh, oh, how, how nice she was, and she was such a good woman. Like, let's see here. The letter details Hwang's contributions to the temple as a volunteer cook, describing her as very pleasant, kind-hearted, and generous. Um, and then I read a little bit more, and the cop that was involved in the case makes a super good point about all this. Um, where is it? Personal opinion, and this is the cop speaking. Personal opinion, I don't think people like that have remorse. I don't think that's in them. Um, and then he's talking about the people that testified. Uh, he said, they can come here to court and get all these letters of support of she's the greatest person in the community, blah, 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 but we don't know that, he said. Um, in a separate incident in 2009, Wong served a three-week sentence after being convicted of assaulting her husband. Yeah, so it was going on for a while. Point of this is, the guy um, who died here, I guarantee you that he was being assaulted throughout the duration of that 27 years of their marriage. Um, and I guarantee you that he wanted to leave. He probably tried to leave. And I bet that that woman would have said to him, listen, if you leave, I'm going to call the police and I'm going to tell them that you're beating me, you know, you're raping me, blah, blah, whatever. Something along those lines. So this guy was guilted into staying in this relationship for 27 years until this woman eventually beat him to death. Um, because there's no way that this guy would have stayed, stayed in a relationship for 27 years. There's no way. No freaking way. Um, and it just goes to show guys, like people don't realize what they're getting into. Um, like they might meet a super nice girl and they might go on a few dates with her and boom, just like that, you know, a year goes by, two years goes by that mask that that woman's been wearing for those two years comes off and you see her real colors. And you know, that's probably what happened in this relationship. Well, I can tell you it is because when this guy met this woman, for the first time in their life, he did not expect that 27 years later, um, he would be dead because she beat him to death. That's not what he was thinking. So, point of all this is, be careful who you get into relationships with. Just know that just because they act super nice for the first little bit doesn't mean that's what they're going to be like for the rest of the relationship or, in this case, marriage. Anyways, let me, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.